Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Vicki Oleski. I am founder of Sonoma County Healing Academy. I'm here with Sybil Starr. It's August and Sybil's been doing classes, astrology classes at the Healing Academy for about a year and a half, two years? About a year and a half. Yeah. Yeah, or, yeah I think so. Yeah, about a year, little over a year and a half. Okay. Yeah. So we're here. We've been doing um, new moon readings. It's August. We're at the tail end of the eclipse season, so we wanted to do a, a, a forecast. Tell, okay. us, tell us what's going on. Well, actually, we're not quite at the tail end. We have one more eclipse to come. This has been a summer with three eclipses, which is a, it happens every so often. It's, it's not um, rare, but it's also not common, okay? And so we have an eclipse happening on Saturday, August 11th at 2.57 a.m. Pacific time. And it is a partial uh, solar eclipse and it is not visible in the United States. And it is at 19 degrees of Leo. And what is so interesting about this eclipse is that there are actually five points in Leo. So it's a very Leo 9 uh, eclipse. It has, there's the Sun, the Moon, uh, Mercury, Pallas Athena, and the North Node. And we'll be talking a little bit about each one of those and, and what they mean. And, and the Sun's exalted in Leo, is that yes, correct? Yes, the Sun, right, that is, okay. the, in astrology we call it a uh, rulership, and so it, it rules, the Sun mm -hmm. rules the sign Leo, so it's very prominent. And so we're also in this time period called the time period of the Lion's Gate, which even makes it, that particular energy even stronger, the energy of the sun, the energy of uh, Leo and of the lion and what that means. A lot of courage. A lot of courage. Uh, well, to me, uh, I think the, the, uh, there are several messages here. One of the first message is so much about letting ourselves shine, the uh, to let our light shine. Uh, for so long, uh, we've had or many of us have had that sense that we need to be small, that for some reason you know we've had lifetimes where it was dangerous to be seen, dangerous to for people to know who we are. Mm -hmm. Well, this eclipse is saying to me that this is no longer true that it is so important to stand in our light to let ourselves be seen it's a time of great self-empowerment and the energy coming through the lion's gate is kind of like that boost of uh, of light mm -hmm. to um, kind of trigger the, the light within us so that we can shine uh, more strongly because we are beings of light that is our natural state of being and there are many that there there's a, a one person a, a, a guy named Richard Rudd he wrote, wrote the book the gene keys mm -hmm. he talks a lot about that our DNA is actually a language of light mm -hmm. and that they are actually molecules of light that have been covered over with fear fear mm -hmm. is what kind of tones them down and so as we you know the the fear we're moving through this time of also great fear but it is moving through it. It is about releasing that fear. And as we do, that language of light and our true being, our true selves, have the ability to really be seen and, and, and to shine in the world. Well, you think about a beautiful picture of a lion. And it has this center light and then this halo exactly. around it that's yeah. emanating. Right. So that's, that's what I hear you talking about, and right. then stepping into that. Right, and you think of saints, you see pictures, you know, of, oh, of ancient yeah. times, that's you right. know. I mean, we should all be having a halo, uh -huh. you know, of oh, that yeah. light, because we are light beings. And people that have worked through those uh, uh, moments of, of, of well, fear is, 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 is really the main thing. But um, it, it is fear that kind of tampers down and making choices based on fear mm -hmm. okay and so the other piece another not another piece of this um, 
eclipse is the Ju is Jupiter and Scorpio is in a square to this and that's a challenging aspect and Jupiter and Scorpio I believe is telling us to release those old stories um, that are based on a faulty belief system and those faulty belief systems are fear and as you know like Marion Williamson says you know that our you know our, our biggest fear is is of our light that, that we are powerful beings because there have been many lifetimes for many of us where being seen and and showing our light has ended poorly right. that is not this time maybe the, some old conditioning some too. old conditioning yeah. right old conditioning yeah. right yeah like just you know yeah and, and people being intimidated by us when we are in our light or joy or joy sometimes it, it brings people uncomfortableness when you're happy and joyful absolutely some, and some that reason. is another piece of Leo is about the celebration of life and the joy of life and it is I feel like another big message with this eclipse is to find that joy that lives in our heart mm -hmm. and that does not saying that we don't have hard times we all do but there is also always joy someplace whether it's you know laughing at your cat or playing with your child or a beautiful piece of music or something that lights that piece mm -hmm. of joy in your heart and it's so important to find wherever you can find that joy because that is what is raising the vibration to help us move through these really challenging times mm -hmm. so I was talking about that this morning like you know go and be playful go and be joyful go do something that will instigate and inspire right. that more absolutely yeah. and Leo also teaches us that play is sacred oh yeah you know we forget that but it's you know what is it Jesus said to be ye like a little child mm -hmm. you know that is a really sacred place and so it play is not a luxury play is a necessity and that is part of this Leo eclipse energy as well to remind us of all of these different mm -hmm. things the archetype of Leo is the the, the leader the king or the queen mm -hmm. and the the child oh, it's like the child yeah. on the Sun card in the tarot right that yeah. comes out yeah, with so the, yeah. yeah and so it's, it's yeah. finding that like, yeah. yeah yeah, yeah. And, and the goddess Athena is very strong at this eclipse as well and um, Athena is actually an asteroid but you know she is an ancient Greek goddess mm -hmm. and she is a goddess of powerful women that is what she symbolizes is a powerful woman who remembers that she's a woman that remembers the uh, intellect intuition and instinct of creative wisdom and the shadow side of Athena which is what we've seen a lot is women in powerful places who forget their women mm -hmm. competing with men and leaving that feminine wisdom behind but this is reminding us to that uh, it is time for women to stand in their light and to lead and yesterday um, at we had some midterm elections uh, for the primaries right. the and right. uh, I read that there was a hundred and seventy three right. women yes. uh, won their primaries for either congressional seats or governorships 11 governorships wow. women won primaries for wow. you know the world needs women in places of leadership so women are really being asked to step up to the plate that receptive energy of the feminine is my understanding and how I experience it is very receptive and so you kind of you know leadership leadership takes being receptive right. to listening to what's our community what's what right. what needs to happen right what does the community right. need not just right. what do I exactly need. right what does what are the needs yeah. of the community mm -hmm. that's right absolutely and and it's, it's also strong quality. you know listening with your heart you know it, it, you know it's about listening with your heart and so it is it is taking you know all of those qualities and and it's not that men can't do that because men have a, we all have a feminine and a masculine but that feminine aspect has not been strongly in roles of leadership in a long time yeah and we're not we're also not talking men versus women women versus men we're talking about the uh, archetypal energies of the feminine and the masculine right the being and the doing and having us 
be yeah. whole and united within around that. Right. So that's that's yeah. my understanding. That's how, how I'm hearing it. And then there's another piece that I wanted to speak of. Um, well, one or, or two, actually, one Mercury retrograde is also in Leo, is mm -hmm. also uh, okay. conjunct this eclipse. And that really says to me it's a time of creativity, and that is a real place to find some joy. Yeah. To um, um, whatever it is, to dance, to write, to paint, to walk. Um, and it's not about doing creativity as work. It's not like being a book writer. If you're a book writer, you know, and that's what you do for a living, during this time do something just for the joy of mm -hmm. it. Because it is about accessing those deep levels of joy and play. And eclipses, the, um, the window of the eclipse is about 18 days before and 18 days after, but the effects of the eclipse can last up to a year. Okay. Yeah. And the other thing I just wanted to say oh. real quickly too is in eclipse times, new or unknown information often comes to light. So it's always, and especially if you have any planets around 19 degrees of the fixed signs, which are uh, uh, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Taurus, the, uh, within three degrees of either sign that this, is, this eclipse is very strong, very active for you. And really, um, eclipses are often harbingers of change. They bring in new information that can actually change our lives in unexpected ways. And so, yeah. So be open to... Right learning something that you haven't known before. Especially around your own self-empowerment and any old faulty belief systems that need to go. Mm -hmm. It's a big one. Yeah. Very big one. Yeah. Sybil, um, you teach first and third Thursdays at 7 to 9, I think we move yes. yes. Yeah, 7, 7 to 9, 9 p.m., correct. And I have a, a website, Sybil at SybilStar.com. And um, I do readings locally and a long distance. So, yeah, thank you so much, Sybil. You are welcome. Yeah. Us. Great. Also, want to remind everybody that September 29th, Sonoma County is hosting Sonoma Strong Healing Fair. It's at the Vets Memorial. Uh, September 29th from 10 to 5. Please join us. It's a free event. There's going to be many people there. We're hoping um, last year we had 450 guests and this year we're hoping and expecting more. There'll be maybe up to 70 practitioners, vendors, and everyone just really caring about each other. So thank you so much, Sybil. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Right. Good luck. Namaste, everyone.